nose erect and long hinder limbs throwing it forward started a hare. It bolted for a thicket of alders. Sir Geoffrey put his gun to his shoulder, but there was something in the animal's grace of movement that strangely charmed Dorian Gray, and he cried out at once. Don't shoot, Geoffrey. Let it live. What nonsense, Dorian, laughed his companion, and as the hare bounded into the thicket, he fired. There were two cries heard, the cry of a hare in pain, which is dreadful, and the cry of a man in agony, which is worse. Good heavens, I've hit a beater, exclaimed Sir Geoffrey. What an ass the man was to get in front of the guns. Stop shooting there, he called out at the top of his voice. A man is hurt. The head keeper came running up with a stick in his hand. Where, sir? Where is he? he shouted. At the same time, the firing ceased along the line. Here, answered Sir Geoffrey, angrily, hurrying towards the thicket. Why on earth don't you keep your men back? Boil my shooting for the day. As he was putting it into the envelope, a knock came to the door and his valet informed him that the head keeper wished to see him. He frowned and bit his lip. Send him in, he muttered, after some moments' hesitation. As soon as the man entered, Dorian pulled his checkbook out of a drawer and spread it out before him. I suppose you have come about the unfortunate accident of this morning, Thornton, he said, taking up a pen. Yes, sir, answered the gamekeeper. Was the poor fellow married? Had he any people dependent on him? asked Dorian, looking bored. If so, I should not like them to be left in want, and will send them any sum of money you may think necessary. We don't know who he is, sir. That is what I took the liberty of coming to you about. Don't know who he is, said Dorian, listlessly. What do you mean? Wasn't he one of your men? No, sir. Never seen him before. Seems like a sailor, sir. The pen dropped from Dorian Gray's hand, and he felt as if his heart had suddenly stopped beating. A sailor? he cried out. Did you say a sailor? Yes, sir. He looks as if he'd been a sort of sailor, tattooed on both arms, and that sort of thing. Was there anything found on him? said Dorian, leaning forward and looking at the man with startled eyes. Anything that would tell his name? Some money, sir, not much. And a six-shooter. There was no name of any kind. A decent-looking man, sir, but rough-like. A sort of sailor, we think. Dorian started to his feet. A terrible hope fluttered past him. He clutched at it madly. Where is the body? he exclaimed. Quick! I must see it at once. It is in an empty stable in the home farm, sir. The folk don't like to have that sort of thing in their houses. They say a corpse brings bad luck. 